I'm out metal detecting in Anglesey next to an 11th century church. Here's hoping for some good finds. I'll see you at the first hole. That has to be one of the smallest buttons I have ever seen. Nothing on it at all. The shank is broken on the back. It's just super duper tiny. It's a little heart shaped piece of lead. It's pretty old by the looks of it. Is there a hole in there? Don't think there is. No. What could it be? Or is it just a bit of cut off molten lead or something? Who knows? This is about the size of a half penny. But it's got a T on the front of it there. Nothing on the back. Unless it is an old half penny that's had an engraving on it. But other than that T, I can't see anything on it at all. What's in this small ball of mud? It's quite a nice signal. Surely that's not it there, is it? Let's put that down on there. Let's get the pin pointer. What is that? Let me just give that a clean up. Nope, don't think it's anything at all. That rang up really nicely as well. A little rivet by the looks of it. Probably come out of a belt or a strap or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty old. Don't know how old. It's a spindle whirl. Very nice. That's a very, very promising sign. You know what they say, where there's spindle whirls, there's hammers. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, very nice, very happy with that. No design on it, unfortunately, that I can tell. But I don't want to rub it too much on my trousers or with my fingers, so I'll clean it at home gently. If there's anything on it, I'll put a picture up. A little four-hole button there. It's quite corroded. It's no longer four-hole, it's one big hole and a one small hole. It's been in the ground a long time, that has. It's very old. Not quite sure what that is. Um, probably some decoration of something it's pretty old yeah it's a good sign that there's more old stuff i hope it's a ship half penny george the sixth there he is 1940 something it says can't make out the last number but yeah ship half penny very nice a knackered old coin there probably a half penny going by size nothing on it at all just knackered completely knackered it's a knackered old pen knife. At least that's what I think it is. Yeah, it's gotta be, isn't it? It's been in the ground a long time. It's all rusted up, completely knackered. That would have looked probably really nice when it was new. No restoring that though, is there? <laughs> That's a new one. Don't think I've ever had a dart before. The nib's missing off it. Oh, and the plastic top just broke off. Brass on the bottom, and a tiny little piece of clay pipe in there. Look at that. Love a bit of clay pipe. It's another grotty old coin there. Eh? Nothing on it at all. Completely toasted. Seems to be the theme of things, doesn't it? I think I've only had one coin with something on it. That is an old 5p. It's a modern 5p, but the older type ones. 
uh, for those of you that watch that aren't in the UK. We stopped using these and they became sort of half the size of that in about 1992. I'm not quite sure what that is. I thought it was a button at first. But I got no idea. Looks like it's got something on it. Pretty sure it's copper. Or copper alloy of some form. That is the second one of them now. What is it? Is it just a, an old washer? I don't know, the other one felt like it had some writing on it or something. But uh, yeah, I don't really know. Let me know in the comments if you think that is just a washer or something a little bit more interesting. Open wide. There you go. Spoon full of mud. Just a spoon out of that hole there. Don't think it's silver. You can see the corrosion of the uh, copper on the back there. Don't even think it's silver plated. What's that saying there? Maybe it is silver plated, it's just the way it's coming off. It looks more like just rubbish. Yeah, just an old spoon. This tiny little piece of lead. Which is kind of interesting because it looks like a tooth. I'm not saying it is a false tooth or anything like that. But could it be? I was about to start filming what's in the ball of mud, but then the bottom of the ball fell off. So, uh, what's in half the ball of mud? Looks like an old half penny of some form, completely toasted. I'll just give that a little clean up. Yeah, just a toasted half penny by the looks of it. Nothing exciting at all. Probably, uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Don't know how old it could be. No idea at all. I think that's probably an old button. Just see a little pimple in the middle there where a shank may have been attached. I'm not entirely sure. Either that or it's a jetting of some form. Very thin and quite small. Smaller than a than a half penny. Maybe it's a farthing actually. I think it's smaller than a farthing though to be fair. 20 pence out of that hole. Not bad. That's a modern 10 pence. Look at the state of that, and it was really deep. It was all the way down in there, that was a good six inches. So this land must have been ploughed at some point for the Tempe to be that deep. But uh, yeah, clean it up, I might be able to spend it. Just a modern one pence. Really rough condition. Probably won't even be able to spend that one. Not I can get anything for a penny anyway. If you enjoy watching my videos, I recommend watching this one next. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.